Hello everybody, Matt over at SFREP, and this is the second in our series of video quick hits that we're doing. These are, um, you know, things that are that we can create quickly and that answer questions that we're getting a lot of calls on. And this one is going to be how to send your UAD appraisal to your lender or your AMC. Now, if you're going to be sending your appraisal through Excite or Appraisal Port or Lighthouse or eServices or any of those uh, products, then the way that you're going to accomplish that is pretty much going to be the same. Now, you'll want to contact whoever your third-party uploader is to get details on that, but all the third-party uploaders are compatible with Appraisal. And if you're doing it with Appraisal Port, everything is pretty much going to be the same as it always has. Now, if you need to send your UAD appraisal through to a lender or AMC either by uploading it to a website or by emailing it then things are going to be a little bit different because now in addition to sending your you know usually you would just send a PDF but now you need to send them an XML file so I'm going to show you how that how, how all that works now before you send it to any uploading uh, service the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check your appraisal report so you can do that by using this little checkbox to, on the uh, on the toolbar up here or you can go to tools and select UAD validator. So when I click on that, it's going to run my report through the validation process. Now this report's done and it doesn't have any errors and that's what I'm looking for. Now if you do have any errors or warnings, you can single click on that error or warning and you'll see a description over here on the right. And if you need to change something, you can double click on it and it will minimize the validator, take you to the, to the field in question, and then you can make your correction. Uh, but I've got everything good to go here so I can hit exit and now I can sign my appraisal report. And now I can either upload it to one of the third-party uploaders, or if I need to email it or upload it to a website manually, I'm going to come to Orders, and I'm going to select Create Mismo XML. Now, the first thing it's going to do is it's going to run it back through that validation process again, just as a double check. So uh, in my case, I don't have any errors, and that's what you're striving for. Um, and if you need to make some changes here, you'll have to unsign the report first. So that's why I recommended that you use the, uh, the checkbox here before you get to the uh, Mismo process, the XML process. So I'm done here, um, don't have any errors, so I'm going to hit next. And now it's going to ask me where I want to put my files. Now by default it's going to put it in the Trawdata PDF folder, which is the same folder we've been putting your PDFs in if you've been using the built-in PDF creator and appraise it for all these years. Um, you can either put it there or you can browse, and in this case I can select my desktop, and I can just go ahead and save it to the desktop. And what it's going to do is it's going to spit out both the XML file and the PDF file. Now if you're going to be emailing your report to your lender or your AMC, then you're going to want to send them both the PDF and the XML file. Um, they're going to need to process the PDF if, the, if a human's going to be manually processing the file. They need the PDF file so that they can read it. That's for human consumption. The XML file is for computer consumption. So um, if you're going to be emailing it, you'll send the PDF so that they can process it manually on their end, but they're going to need that XML file when they upload it to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac uh, after they've processed it. Um, if you're going to be uploading it to a website, then you will only more than likely need to just send them the XML file. Okay, so I've decided to put it on my desktop here, so I'm ready to go. I'm going to hit next, and then here is where I'm going to build my appraisal report. And this is just the same um, printing print commander that you've been using for years. This is where you're going to construct your 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 actual report. You can use your print schemes. You should be all, already familiar with this. So when I'm done, I'm going to click on Create PDF. And it's going to go through the MISMO creation process. It's going to create the, both the PDF and it's going to create the XML file. There it goes. It's generating the XML. And now it's done. And if you want, you can click on the View PDF. Otherwise, uh, you'll just go into your email program and browse to, in this case, my desktop. And I'll attach both the XML and the PDF. And if I need to upload it to a website, like a web portal, I'll just simply go to that web portal and then browse in the XML file. Now, make sure that you contact your, your AMC or your lender for specific instructions on how they want to receive appraisals, but this should get you started and give you a good primer as to how you're going to send things to them. 